Okay, Be'ezrat Hashem. So, we are, Pasuk He, chapter Zayn, right? Shira Shein Perik Zayn, Pasuk He. So, the Pasuk says the following. Tzavarech kemigdal Hashem. Just to give a, a, a perspective, according to the Gaomi Vilna, we have the Goim that praise Am Israel for all their accomplishments throughout history at the end of time. And we're going through all the, the, all the praises, all the ma'alot, all the greatness that, will be, that Am Israel will be accounted for at the end of time. That's according to the Gaon. And according to the Malbim, right? Again, it's uh, the, the nefesh, the body that tries to retain the neshama by convincing the neshama with all different uh, uh, attributes and greatnesses and, 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 and good deeds and good opportunities the neshama has by staying in the body. And like we, we say, according to the Malbim, according to Gaon, we go from low to high, right? We go from low to high. So according to the Gaon, we started with the Batek Nesiot and the Batek Midrashot in Chutz Haaretz, and now those Batek Nesiot and Batek Midrashot will end up in Eretz Israel. And then we started talking about Eretz Israel, and we started talking about the Harabite, and we started talking about the, the, the surrounding of Harabite, right? And as we, we, we're getting higher and higher in the Ma'ala, in the status of the, of, uh, of, uh, the Kedusha, of Am Israel and their efforts and presence in the world. That's the gown. And according to the Malbim, is the influence of the legs in the shoes and the thigh and the belly button and the, the, the button and the belly and the chest, yeah, the breast. And now we are at Tzavarech, the neck. There, Pasuke. Tzavarech ke migdal Hashem. Your throat, your neck, not your throat, your neck is like a tower made out of ivory. And your eyes are like a brechot, like a pool, like pools, a pool, yeah? Yeah, brechot, beheshbon, beheshbon in the city of Heshbon, okay, just so to give a, a, a little bit of a perspective for a second, Heshbon, okay, uh, was the city of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, of, uh, Sihon Melecha Emori, okay, Sihon is the king of Emor, who, the Bnei Israel fought and took their land, which is before they went into Eretz Israel. So Heshbon is a city that Moshe Rabbein conquered himself, right? So it's across the Yarden. Uh, today it's uh, Jordan, if you will. It's Jordan, okay? And Heshbon is known is known for a lot of uh, a lot of uh, of uh, of uh, rivers, a lot of lakes, okay? For example, it's, it's, it sits between Nahal Arnon and Nahal Yabok, the, 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 the river of Arnon and the river of Yabok, okay? And that's Heshbon, that's Heshbon. Here, the, so Shlomo Amena, he says, your eyes are like the brechot, are like the pools, the water lakes, like the lakes of Heshbon, Al Sha'ar Bat Rabim, by the gates of Bat Rabim. Bat Rabim is the name of a gate, of gates also that the, 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 that were around Cheshbon, okay, where the water, where the, 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 the rivers would go through. Gates that were allowed the rivers, the, the flow of water to go through. Apech, your nose, Kemigdala Lebanon, is like the Tower of Lebanon. So where you can see that faces, that you can see Damas, Damascus. Okay. 
Rocher, Alayir Ka Carmel, we're going to do these two pieces. Your share, Be Ezrat Hashem. Your head, okay? Alayir is on you, is on you. Ka Carmel, like the Carmel, like the Mount Carmel. Ve Dalat, Rocher, and the locks of, or, or the braids of your hair, of your, on your head, argaman, like, like the argaman, like the purple, the color purple of the argaman, melech, and it's like a king, asur barehatim, captive barehatim in the threads, in the tresses. Okay. Let's let's dive by Zrat Hashem into into each 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 pirush. Savarech ki migdal Hashem. According to the Gaon Mivina, again, it's the Goim's perspective, great accomplishments, and and uh, and uh, and praises. Towards the, the Am Israel's successes and strength throughout history. Says Savarev, the Tzavar, the neck, says the Gaon Mivilna, Tailul Hayut Ha'adam, the life of man, okay, depends on the neck, on the neck. Okay? This is why. When, uh, when we talk about somebody that uh, is, uh, is, is dead, we we're, gonna, we're gonna mention that he doesn't have it a head. For example, Psik Resha. Psik Resha, it's a concept in uh, the halachot, the, the laws of Shabbat. Psik Resha, if you take a chicken and you cut his head, although he will keep on running, but it's dead, right? So the, 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 the neck, a healthy neck is what represents life. We also addressed in the past the, the statement that who they gave to the, the uh, to Am Israel when they wanted to do the, the, the golden cow, right? And he told them, it's the only place in the Torah that it says you have, you have a slaughtered neck. Okay? Mean, meaning, you, you don't allow your mind and your heart to be connected in order to see clearly. Your, your neck is slaughtered, is cut. Says, okay, Gaon says, where the neck represents life. Right? When you see the neck, you see Hayim, Hayim. And he says, what does the neck represent? He says it represents the Azara, Ezrat Israel, the Azara and Ezrat Nashim, the Azara where the, the, the old Am Israel used to go to and gather during the Shalosh Regalim, or during Yom Kippur, that's when you had the mass of people, that's when you heard a lot of noise, that's when you saw, that's where you saw the, 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 the juncture and the power of Am Israel gathered in one environment. For what? Why did all Am Israel go there? They had Korbanot, right? They used to go to do the Korbanot, to, to do the offerings for the Chagim, and says the Shlomo Amelech, Tzavarech, Tzavarech, Kemigdal Hashem is beautiful, okay, like a tower of ivory. To the contrary of what we said in Perik Dalet. In Perik Dalet, if you remember, we said the following, the Pasuk says, Kemigdal David Tzavarech, Banui Letalpiyot. In this case, the, your, your, your neck is like the Tower of David, right? Where we had the soldiers 
that were, would look after and protect, right? The, the, the Ir David, the, the compound of David. And that was the awesomeness, the strength that we were referring to. Not the actual tower, but what the tower was used for by the soldiers. Here Shlomo HaMelech says, it's beautiful as its own, not for what you wear around it. You don't have a beautiful neck because you wear a beautiful jewel, piece of jewelry. But it's beautiful on its own. It's made of ivory. The ivory is, is very expensive. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very high-end commodity, but it's also very strong. Right? The ivory is very strong. It's clean. It's white. It represents strength. Tzavarech, Tzavarech, when it says David, the, the, the girl Mivilna, he says, Tzavarech in Dechal, when there is unity, when you all come together, when all Am Israel, you guys get, get together and serve one specific purpose, you are strong, you are beautiful, you are respected. Here the Gaon wants to come and show us what the Goim will be saying to us down the road, right? But it also shows what we, what, how we are looked upon when we don't have the unity and we don't have one purpose. It shows weakness. It shows that we are not united. It shows that we're not, uh, there's no power. There's no power. That's Tzavarech ke Migdal Hashem. Ainayich Berechot Becheshbon Al Sha'ar Bat Rabim says your eyes the eyes are, who are the eyes of the nation of Ham Israel? Is the Sanhedrin, right? The Sanhedrin that bring clarity through the, the Psak Alacha. And he says, Anayich Berechot Becheshbon, they are blessed, like Berechot is the pool, but comes also from the Lashon Beracha. Becheshbon, they are filled with Heshbon. Yeah, although Heshbon is a name, but Heshbon in Hebrew also means calculations, right? Heshbon is calculations. Al Sha'ar Bat Rabim, Al Sha'ar, on the Sha'ar Bat Rabim of all, says the Gaon, this is the power of the Chachamim and the unity of the Chachamim and the Torah Kedusha, like the Sanhedrin had, yeah? Here again, what, what, the, what the focus that Shlomo Amelech is, uh, is addressing is the power that Am Israel have when they start becoming united. And the unity starts in the neck. You have all the body, you have the legs, you have all the organs, and then suddenly everything converges to one point, which is the neck, and then goes up. Yeah? But that's the most important. This is the life. This is what is respected, is the head, right? The koach you speak from the head. You, you, you connect to the world through what you see, yeah? So comes the Gaon and says, the power of Am Israel is when the unity is found, right? When all the organs come together, which is the neck, which is Am Israel, when the eyes are out there to look at everything, and use the eyes properly to think, which is the Berechot Becheshvon, you are blessed like a pool of a lot of water. That's all the information that you get that comes to the eyes of Am Israel, which is what? Which is the Talmidei Chachamim, the Sanhedrin, that sit al Sha'ar Bat Rabim, that sit on top of the Rabim, the daughter of Rabim, the, 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 the nation. The eyes sit on top of the nation. A pair, your nose, he says the nose, the beauty of the nose is something beautiful. The girl says, what is the beauty of a nose? The beauty of a nose is, is dependent on two measurements. It's the way it's circular, circular and, it's, and how tall it is, how long it is. That's what would determine a beautiful nose. It cannot be too pointy, it cannot be too large, 
It can be too long, it cannot be too short. It it's a perfect dimension between the length and the, 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 the shape. It says, Your nose is like the tower of Lebanon. He says the, the Migdal of Lebanon, well, it's a tower in Lebanon that it is just big enough and tall enough to be able to see all the way to Damascus. And he says, what does that have to do with anything? He says, because the Atid Lavo, Yerushalayim, will, go all, will, will spread all the way into Lebanon. All this will be considered Yerushalayim. And we will need that, that tower because from that tower, we will be able to see the Hechal. He says that we need the, that tower outside to be able to see the Hechal. Eventually that tower will have to be bigger because Yerushalayim will be larger so that from that tower, you will be able to see the Hechal. And that is the comparison to Bene Damasek. Again, what, 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 what are we trying to learn from this? Aper, Aper, the nose has to have, the nose is, what, what is the importance of the nose? The, the nose also is a, represents Hayut, also represents like, right? Because you breathe from the nose. It's what gives you the Koach, it's what gives you the, 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 the oxygen to live. He says, but the nose has to have one purpose. What? It has to be focused towards the Hechal HaKodesh, towards the Hechal, towards the Bet HaMikdash. Even though we have a nose and we breathe, but the breath that we take, the energy that we take, what we were able, what, what, the fact that we are alive is for the purpose of what? Of the Hechal, of the Hechal. That's the message of, of uh, that that uh, that Shlomo Amir is, is telling us, and you need to have a beautiful. Your nose is beautiful, meaning your purpose, your breath, your life. Always had a direction and a purpose. It wasn't too small. It wasn't too big. It wasn't too large. It wasn't too too pointy. It's perfect. Why? Because it's focused. It's built so that it focuses always on the hechal. Our life, the Goyim will tell us, was always focused on the Echal of Nakadosh Baruch Hu's service. That's, that's what the nose represents. Roshech Alayich, your head as a whole, is on you, Kat Karmel. So the head in, ge in general is what? Says the Gamu Mevina refers to the Kodesh HaKodashim. And he's like the Carmel, because the Carmel is, has a, a, a slope. The Mount Carmel is, is, has a steep slope. The Agol and it's round. And it's considered one of the highest point of the mountains. Yeah, it has, and, and that's the Kodesh HaKodashim. It's, it's something you can look up when there's a steep slope. Yeah, you, in order to look at the top, you have to lift your head very high, right? That's the Kodesh HaKodashim. That's the Kodesh HaKodashim. Is that you, 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 you're, you're always looking up, always looking up, right? And it's circular, meaning that no matter where you are, in around that mountain, you're, you're really never at the beginning or at the end. 
the igul, the circle has no beginning and has no end. Just like the Har Kamel, the Kodesh HaKodashim is the same thing. When, when you, you, when you come and you want to be connected to the Kedusha, Aron Ha'edut, the Kodesh HaKodashim, what's inside the Kodesh HaKodashim? The Aron Haberit, right? The Aron with the Luchot Habrit. At least during the first Bet Amikdash. The second Bet Amikdash was, but the first Bet Amikdash was Aron Haberit. It represents the Torah Kedusha. It represents the Ahdut of Am Israel. It represents the fact that Akash Baruch is with Am Israel. And that's the definition of Kodesh HaKodashim, the unity of Hashem and his involvement with Am Israel. This is the head. This is the Kodesh HaKodashim. This is Kedusha. And this has one direction, always looking up. You're never at the beginning, you're never at the end. You always keep on going, always keep on going. When there's no end to the service of Akalosh Baruch and to the Kedusha. Vedalat Rosher Argaman. Vedalat Rosher Argaman. And the locks on your hair are like the Argaman. Argaman is the letters Uriel, Raphael, Gabriel, Michael, Nuriel. Again, Argaman, which is, which is the Merkava. The Merkava of Akadosh Baruch Hu, the Merkava. The, the, the chariot, the chariot of, of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, of the Kisei HaKavod, where the Kisei HaKavod is, 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 which is, sits right under the, the Olam HaAtzilut, right under the Neshamot. You have Argaman, Aleph, Uriel, Resh, Raphael, Gimel, Gabriel, Mem, Michael, Nun, Nuriel. Argaman, which also are the five fingers, okay, are the five fingers. Uriel, Raphael, Gabriel, Michael, Nuriel. The five fingers. There's a big, big, big sodot in the five fingers and the, the Argaman. So we, we say Vedalat Rosher. And the hair around your head, what surrounds you is the Argaman. You're surrounded all the way up by the Malachim, by the, the head of states of the angels, by Argaman. Asur Bareatim, and in it, you know who's in it? Asur, Melech Asur Bareatim, there's a king that is inside. That that uh, that uh, that dress, that little house, right? that quarter, Bariatim. How is that? Says says the Gaon. That's the Shechina that sits inside the Kodesh Hakodashim. What does he mean? Asur is stuck. He says the Shechina will not leave Am Israel. You built a system that's so perfect, that's so strong with Hakadosh Baruch that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is as if he is uh, locked inside the Kodesh HaKodashim. He's one with you locked. He's not, going, he's not in that letting you at all, not going anywhere. This is the praise the going gave us. That's from a space per perspective. From an individual pers perspective of Am Israel, says the Gaon, Savarech is the Levim. The throat is the Levim. Because the, the, the Levim, they sing. You sing with the throat, and they never get tired. Akalosh Baruch Hu gave the strength to the Levim to be able to play music and sing and, 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 and never get tired. And Naim, the eyes, are the Nevi'im, the prophets that see.
And that's why Enayim Berechot Becheshbon, they have in it pools, right? Like the pools of Cheshbon, they have a lot of water because they are embraced, they are filled with what? With the, the water of the Nevu'ah, of the Shekhinah. They have clarity, they see clear. They, they are filled with water of the of, of Kedusha, says the Gaon. And no matter how much you give out, it's always full. Says the Gaon, the, the Navi, doesn't matter how much he teaches and how much he shares, his connection with Akazus Baruch Hu, his Kedusha gets refilled all the time. Whatever he gives, he never, he never gives, he never loses. Uh, the Av, Avech, is the Kohanim. Why? Yasimu ketoret be'apecha. Okay? The ketoret, the Kohanim, they smell all the time the ketoret. Right? They smell the, the incense of the ketoret. The Av represents the Kohanim. The Rosh, Roshech, and okay? Argaman is the Melech. Who sits on the head is the king. And inside, Asur Bareatim is referring to the Shekhinah, to the Neshama. That's inside the head. The Carmel represents the angels. And the, the Dalat Moshech and the hair, the Talmidech the Talmidech Here the Gaon basically summarizes the pride, the strength of the ecosystem that's called Am Israel. From a geolocalization and uh, an, an, uh, an individual and, and community or, uh, perspective. And the central point, the central message that the, Ga the Gaon brings in the in the, uh, in in, the, in this in this in this message of Shlomo Amelech is two things: organization and hierarchy, we see that there are levels of Kedusha, there are levels of, or, of, of uh, responsibilities. The Afal Pichet, which is when you talk about organization and structure and hierarchy, you can't talk about separation, right? Because the, each one has their own space and each other has their own level. Although that exists, what we are praised for is the ability to bring shalom and harmony and unity, even though we respect hierarchy. It's polar opposites, right? Unity, you would think, is uh, like communism. And uh, hierarchy, you would think it's, uh, I don't know, capitalism. Yeah? How can they both coexist? It's impossible, right? And we see the goyim, uh, they try, or there's one or that one. The power of Am Israel is that we know how to respect hierarchy and levels. We have Israel, we have Levim, Kohanim, Kohen Gadol, Menech, we have the Nasi, etc. And we have Chutz Laaretz, Eretz Israel, Yerushalayim, Harabayit, Bet Amikdash, Hechal, the Azara, the Echal, and the Kodesh HaKodashim. So although we can be very segmented and organized, we never lose the importance of the unity. That's the message the Gaon is, 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 uh, is making. The Malbim, the Malbim, now if we shift in, in that uh, dynamic of praising or charming the, 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 the Neshama from leaving the body, 
Dice, Atzabá, the Tzabá, like we said earlier, is what represents the ability of the intellect to master the emotions and the instincts. This is the symbol of the Tzabá. The ability to allow the intellect, the chokhmah, to control and rule over the emotions and the instinct. And so says the Malbim, what does it mean? Your neck is like a, uh, like a tower of ivory. It's strong, it's beautiful, and it's respected. You have the ability to take control over the instinct the body tells the neshama. That's what makes you so beautiful. That's what makes you so, so uh, different and, and, and distinguished. And there, in your eyes, it's, what are we referring to when we said the eyes? It says, it says you use your eyes, okay? But not to just watch and get distracted, says the Malim. You use your eyes for your brain, for your sechel, for your intellect. They are at the service of your intellect in order to be able to analyze, to think, to differentiate. He says, just like the, 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 the water converge into a pool, you have a lot of, of uh, you have a lot of, uh, of, uh, of uh, rivers, yeah? They come into the pool, the eyes, it's, it captures all this information for the brain. That's berechot beheshbon. And beheshbon, what does it mean, heshbon? It says heshbon in this case is referring to the analysis, the analytical mind, your ability to take all this and start thinking. The eyes were given to you so that you can think and you can analyze and you can differentiate what's good, what's not good, what's, what, what is the outcome. And he says, what does he mean, al sha'ar bat rabim? Al sha'ar, they should be al sha'ar bat rabim. Sha'ar, the gates of all. He says, this is the sha'ar Yerushalayim, the, the, what represents the sha'ar Yerushalayim. The sha'ar of Yerushalayim is the place, the place where all the beracha converges uh, and goes out. He says, it's normal that your eyes that you, the eyes of your intellect, that your ability to control and, 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 and maneuver the emotions and the instinct right, should be sitting. al sharat bat rabim should take the control over the body. But when can you do that if not when you're alive? And we're ready. Says, this you can only do if you're alive, if, you know, if the neshama lives. You can no longer control the body. You no longer have this challenge where, the, where, where you can forge a pathway for the, for the emotions and the instinct to do the right thing. You cannot do that. Here, interestingly enough, says the, the nose refers to the sechel ayuni. First to the neshama, to add to, to the analytical brain, not to the practical brain, to the analytical brain. Why? He says because we know that when Hakadosh Baruch Hu gave life to Ruach Memalila, when he gave life to Adam Rishon, he blew into the nose the Ruach Hayim. So the, the the nose really represents the neshama. This is why in Masechet Yevamot. The Gemara tells us that if you find a body, if you find, if a husband disappeared, right? And uh, 
the per the, we cannot find the person. Uh, you find the head without the nose. The, the, the Chachamim say you cannot identify the person. How do you identify the person in his face with his nose? This is the definition. This is the, the, the identity of the person. This is the identity of the person. So referring to what? To the neshama. The neshama is what determines the, who the person really is. And he says, the, 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 that tower of Lebanon is a tower that he says that was placed strategically. And that was that you that from that tower you were able to control and look and see all Lebanon. All Lebanon. And that was a strategic tower for the for the army and for the security of all Lebanon. He says the neshama is the same thing. Akadosh Baruch gave us a neshama so that we can be able to analyze and introspect every aspect of our life. It gave us a neshama in a place where you, your neshama can relate, if you want it, to every layer of your essence, from physical to emotional to spiritual. And for what reason? Just so that, uh, uh, just so, so uh, like uh, the, the, the tower of Lebanon is here to protect and to be able to see and to be able to prevent, so too the neshama. The neshama is given in a way to us, not so that it stays independent and it's it, in its quarters, but so that it can also prevent and help and foresee the, the dangers of the body. So says, says the Malbim, says that, that the body tells the Neshama, what would be your purpose at this point? You're going to leave this world. You were given so strategically to take control over the body and, and, and protect the body and elevate the body. But at the end, you know, if, if that's, what, that's what you came to this world for. You're going back. What is that tower for? Nothing. You're not going to do anything with it. You, you're losing your essential purpose, says the body. Rosher, he says, your whole essence. The, the Rosh represents the whole essence of the person. Yeah. In, its enti- in, in its whole entity. Your whole essence, when you're in the body, is like the Carmel that is full of fruits, food uh, and vegetables and growth. Your, you have, your, your essence is, is here to grow. When you, do you flourish so much and have all these beautiful trees and all these beautiful fruits and all the, the, these, all the, the wheat and the, 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 all, all these vegetables in, of the Carmel? Only when you're here. Where do you get all that chokhmah? Where do you get all this all that da'at, the da'at elokim? Where do you get all this kedusha if it's not inside the body in this world? The dalat roshech and the hair on your hair, the, the hair on your head is what is the talmid chachamim? Is the chokhmah, the machshavot? Right, the hair represents the according to the Malbim is what the thoughts. Ka'argaman says, where do you where do you relate 
and you're able to understand and grow from the Merkava, the, the secrets of the Merkava, the secrets of creation. Only while you're here inside the body. And you know what? Melech Asur Bareatim says the Neguf, Melech, who's the Melech? Is the body. Asur is Lot Bareatim in, 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 by inside the, the pipelines of the Neshama. The body without the Neshama is going to be thrown in a pit, it's dead. So you need the body to grow and elevate and think and protect and change your emotion, your, your instincts. Be zoche to understand Maase Merkava. But this you can only do it through the body and the body is dependent as so team. The body is locked and under the dependence of the pipeline, the spiritual pipeline of the Neshama. And only through that it can survive. Rabbi Pilha says in, in, the, in the Midrash, Aneshama natla mi kiseh akavot shehu arosh. Like he says, Roshech, the Midrash says in the name of Rabbi Pinchas that the body is dependent on the head and the head is the vessel for the Neshama to be able to, to, to come down and to, to be part of the body. Here is something amazing. The, come to Malbim to open our eyes as to what the body, after 120 years, tells the Neshama. It tells the Neshama, look, what, what are you here for? To give, without me, the body, without you, the Neshama, I end up in a, in a, in a hole, in a pit. Okay. But if you're with me and you, give, you, you allow me to stay alive, all the, your purpose, your essence, your ability of growth, your ability of intellect, of Torah, of Chochmah, of Yirat Shamayim, of Midot Torot, Avodat Amidot, you all get it here. But if I'm not here, you cannot do it. The perspective of what the body will, the, our body will tell our Neshama after 120 years. This is what we are doing in this world. And this is what our neshama should be thinking and should be focused on. That's the message we're learning today and that we have to implement, is that our purpose is focused on all those ma'alot. We're going to stop on this, uh, on this pasuk, on this pasuk. Okay, Rav. Thank you so much. I'm jumping to a call. Ezrat Hashem. Rav, you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Rav. Be'simcha, be'simcha, Rabbah.